I would lower my systemic testosterone level as low as possible. And then I would replace it with something like AC262 or S4. What is up everyone, it's Roos. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR step is 1907 water.com coupon code Russo. Today's ASMR spritz is Intelligent Elephant H2O. Hear your noises. All other discounts, sources in the pinned comment down below. Check out my source list to support my unbiased bodybuilding content today. I'm going to be doing a hair loss prevention video. Now, caveat this, I'm not the hair loss expert on YouTube, don't claim to be. I have, however, been making a lot of content around the dangers of the significant pharmacology interventions that exist within the hair loss community space, basically blocking 5AR right if you are extremely well versed on what you're doing with blocking 5ar and you understand all the risks consequences of blocking 5ar and how that could lead towards pretty detrimental side effects by all means run fin run dut there are now a lot of people messaging me that they want to get off finasteride they want to get off dutasteride or they're thinking about doing it, but they're wondering if there is another safer method to prevent hair loss. I want to caveat this again. If you have actual androgenic alopecia, which I don't have, I don't have like the typical male pattern baldness. I've had friends go bald at 16 who've never touched steroids. That's an uphill battle where I think if you are into vanity biohacking, then pharmacological intervention of thin or dut, that makes sense in my mind. When you're just having normal shedding or you're stressed out and you're having shedding that's normal. For example, I've abused steroids for you know however many years my hair is taking a hit every single year, but it's not like male pattern baldness. Some individuals who are genetically predisposed, I don't think these methods will offset someone who is extremely genetically predisposed. Where I do believe that finasteride or dutasteride would definitely buy them some time at the sacrifice of their brain functionality and their central nervous system potentially. So the whole thing around hair loss is dihydrotestosterone binding to the hair follicles and choking them out. This is what we want to stop. DHT in a whole is really not that useful of a androgen and could be taken out. Now finasteride and dutasteride, they block the enzyme 5-alpha reductase to stop the conversion from testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, you lower the total serum concentration of dihydrotestosterone in your body, your hair starts growing back rapidly. Problem is 5-alpha reductase isn't just used to convert testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, and I'll have Andrew throw up all the other conversions 5-alpha reductase does, but you're blocking all of that, and you're overall you're lowering the genetic expression of 5-alpha reductase throughout your body. And there are two different types of 5-alpha reductase enzymes, enzyme 1 and enzyme 2. Enzyme 1 is made in all the skeletal muscle and it feeds your central nervous system, like, a, like an electricity network basically. And then there's the 5-alpha reductase 2 enzyme that's in the brain. Now dutasteride blocks 1 and 2 and is overall the best way to keep your hair pretty much your entire life by you're sacrificing all the other conversions by blocking the expression of 5-alpha reductase and overall lowering that. Over time, you're going to notice neurosteroids, GABA, allopregnanolone levels dip, which again, depending on your skeletal muscle load, your central nervous system tune on how you respond to stress anxiety aka how your ar is signaled under stress and anxiety could lead to horrible side effects or could not the way i would attack it is utilizing SARMs. So SARMs do not convert to estrogen or DHT. Some of them are as androgenic, if not the same androgenic level as dihydrotestosterone, and you're not <laughs> stopping this enzyme production. You want 5-alpha reductase, right? You don't want DHT. DHT is bad, whatever, I get it. But you want a lot of 5-AR, especially if you're an active male in my mind. 
right, for performance. Okay, so how would I do it? So I would lower my systemic testosterone level as low as possible, and then I would replace it with something like AC262 or S4. This would carry the load, right? You can use other androgens besides DHT to make your body function. And overall, we're having an androgen that doesn't convert into estrogen and doesn't convert into dihydrotestosterone. So you could add in the SARM, lower your overall natural testosterone level to where you have less DHT conversion, or you could theoretically shut it off completely. I know Alec has done an S4 cycle where he basically did S4 only, completely shut off his natural testosterone, replaced the estrogen conversion with birth control. Overall, had this androgen that is probably, you know, making up the slack for the dihydrotestosterone level dipping off, and he doesn't have to fuck around with 5AR. The expression for the central nervous system stays the same. And overall, I feel like that's a safer method to prevent it as far as intervening with drugs systemically than finasteride or detastride. Am I saying it's better? No, it's definitely not better in my opinion but it is something that is actually being researched in clinical data to again stop hyperplasia of the prostate and to prevent hair loss and with alex anecdotal report we saw that he didn't lose any hair that whole time dick function fine cns function fine and overall it seemed like a good experiment to showcase that he didn't have to fuck around with 5ar expression all he had to do was find a way to lower the DHT conversion by replacing the androgen level with something that doesn't convert into DHT. And then he made up the testosterone conversion to E2 by adding in birth control, thus resulting in an overall lower level of DHT throughout his body without directly trying to fuck with the 5AR expression. Because when you start throttling the 5AR expression, I'm sure it's going to go down. And like I said, it's fine if we take DHT out, but everything else that 5-alpha reductase helps, that's all being hurt. The next thing I would do would be derma roll my hair. I'll Andrew throw up a long derma roller, and then you could use castor oil or rosemary oil. People who are hardcore in the vanity biohacking space of hair loss, are gonna say this isn't really that useful. It will do probably like 2% to 5% improvement on your hair without again intervening with something like minoxidil, which is topical finasteride. So you could use the androgen method, still pharmacologically intervent in, <clears throat> still pharmacologically intervening pretty hard, but you are finding a workaround to crush DHT and overall not crush 5 AR experience and then I would add in something like castor oil, derma roller, micro needle your hair to again promote blood flow and everything. I've Andrew threw up the study about hit cardio and hair loss. Again, when I'm talking about this, there are people genetically predisposed and it sucks that their hairline is doomed for and they don't fall into this category. I feel like a lot of people jump right to Finn and Dutt before trying all these other methods and Finn and Dutt has its own sort of separate consequences that people aren't educated on. If you're educated on what it's like fucking around with 5AR, then go for it, right? I'm a biohacker, go for it. Modify it, see what happens. But I feel like finasteride, dutasteride, when I watch these Keeps or Hymns ads and I see how it's just like, oh, just pop this pill and your hair grows back. Yeah, pop this pill and you're blocking one of the most important enzymes in the body. And if you have a central nervous system that's tuned or finicky and doesn't like that being fucked with now you're in a problem state where it took the, me the most crazy intervention polypharmacy drug abuse most extreme recovery to get back on my feet i would recommend trying the androgen route first replacing the androgen level with something that doesn't convert to dht not fucking with 5ar expression and then adding in castor rosemary oil and micro needling it in would yield 
better than doing nothing at all? Would it yield better than using Dutasteride? No. Would it yield better than using Finasteride? No. Minoxidil, apparently, based on what I've heard from other people, works for a certain period of time and then kind of like dissipates and stops working. So again, that is what it is. If you wanted the least risky method to try to fuck around with it, you could try Minoxidil. I have used Minoxidil on and off for, you know, weeks at a time um i do notice horrible blood pressure increases and I, I just don't like minoxidil personally i don't react very well to it i am obviously very sensitive with my cns towards other people who can get away with it completely fine but i have used minoxidil and not crash completely down but when you add in finasteride or dutasteride, that's a whole different animal. And looking into a way to lower DHT without fucking with 5AR is the method that I would personally research in and go down that rabbit hole. I'll see you guys in my next video.